everyone, I am Ruth Salinay Pragera, currently a third year BTL Ed student, major in Agrofishery Arts. As we are in a more advanced world, there are a lot of available tools and applications that can be used to work collaboratively with others. For today, I will show you some examples of collaborative application or tools. Its purpose and a short run through on how to use it. By the way, I choose three of those collaborative tools that I will be going to discuss to you. These are the Google Drive, the Google Classroom, and the Google Docs. So let's go! But before that, we will be going to find out first what is a collaborative tool. Collaborative tools is an online app, software, programs, or platforms that allows you to create, design, and contribute to the same document at the same moment in real time. This will help you to work together more effectively and efficiently. The tools provide platforms where everyone can see and communicate about ongoing work. This transparency means everyone has up-to-date information and can work productively and efficiently while feeling connected to their team. What is Google Classroom? It is a free blended learning platform developed by Google for educational institutions that aims to simplify, creating, distributing, and grading assignments. The primary source of Google Classroom is to streamline the process of sharing files between teachers and students. Google Classroom integrates a variety of Google applications for education to manage student and teacher communication. Students can be invited to join a class to a private code or imported automatically from a school domain. Each class creates a separate folder in the respective user's Google Drive where the students can submit work to be graded by a teacher. Here are the short run-through in using Google Classroom. First thing you need to do is install Google Classroom if you don't have. Then open your Play Store. Search for Google Classroom. And then afterwards, download it. Then after downloading it, open the application. After installing the app, manage your account and then log in your email account. And if you are done in signing up, click join class here. And then if you have code, then input it here. To sign in with a class code, use an authorized account or use a class code with 67 letters and numbers and no spaces or symbols. In my case, as you observed, I have already classroom that I enrolled. And if you'd like to upload your output, click the stream and then share with your class. And attach your file and then afterwards post it. Share with your class. If you want to look for your teachers and classmates here enroll in this classroom, then click the people. Google Drive is a cloud-based platform where you can store your files by uploading them using your internet connection. Files like photos, videos, documents, and applications can be uploaded in Google Drive and downloaded whenever needed. Google Drive can be used in mobile phones, tablets, laptops, and even computer systems. Google Drive is easy and simple to use. It is an online file sharing and any file can be uploaded and file access is easy. So here are the short run through in using Google Drive. If you have no Google Drive app in your phone, then find Play Store and then um, search for Google Drive. After searching and then click it and install. And there you have it. You have already Google Drive. Open it. 
don't forget to log in your email in order for you to access your Google Drive, manage your Google account. These are the icons that you see in opening Google Drive, folder, upload, scan, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and also Google Slides. If you want to upload your file, then click the upload. And also if you want to create a new folder, then click the new folder and name your folder in order for you to easy to locate and also attach your file. To see all your file, click the home and then you will see all your files uploaded here in Google Drive and if you want to start then click the start and if you click the three lines on the left side you can see recent offline trash backup settings and that's it for Google Drive what is Google Docs Google Docs is an online word processor it includes a part of the free web-based Google Docs editor suite offered by Google which is includes Google sheet Google Slides, Google Drawings, Google Forms, and Google Sites, and even Google Keep. Its purpose is to allow users to create and edit documents online while collaborating with other users in real time. Here are the short run-through in using Google Docs. If you have no Google Docs in your cell phone and then click the placer and search for Google Docs, install it. Don't forget to log in your email. After installing Google Drive, then open the app. If you click the three lines in the left side, you can see the recent shared with me starred offline trash notification. And if you want to upload files, then click the plus and then attach your file. The same in creating document, you can click the sign plus and then you can start. Just like MS Word, Google Docs can uh, make document here. After clicking the plus sign, you can input here um, any words. As you can see, I have given you an example on how to um, make a word. In making document, don't forget to save. After clicking the three dots in the right side, you can see the print layout. Suggest changes, document outline, word count, shared and report, move details and... Click share and add people or groups that you want to access them. And that's it on how to use Google Docs. After making these collaborative tools, I realized that collaborative tools nowadays is very important in order to work collaboratively with each other and share information or come up with an agreement by texting, chatting, emailing, or using online documents, especially those times of pandemic that face-to-face -face meetings is strictly discouraged. Those times, the collaborative tools is very helpful, especially for us students to communicate with our teachers vice versa in online classes. Collaborative tools helps open doors of communication between everyone involved and promote productivity. File sharing and audio and video conversations are also made possible by such tools.